Hello and welcome to our first video blog for Higher Graphics Game Journal. This is video blog number one, people. What? Indeed. And you are? My name is Garv. I am the editor-in-chief of Higher Graphics Game Journal and this is... Heather. What's supposed to be my official title? I don't know. Mm. You just help with stuff. I'm here. I, do <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like a jack of all trades in a lot of ways. Yeah. She pretty much does like all of the artsy stuff yeah design stuff yep yeah i do all the writing and stuff for high graphics game journal we've been around a long time and uh you know after all these years it's amazing we're still doing stuff yeah in some form or another yeah actually you, I, I think i can post a little bit a little picture of our uh our first high graphics game journal first one we ever did and you can see it here and it's Pretty crazy to think that that was in 1993. But, long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago, but we're still around and we're still doing stuff. Well, well the, the staff is a little shorter than it used to be, but you know, you know, what can you do? But first, before we get started with today's topic, I wanted to send uh, my condolences to all the people who were affected in Las Vegas. This is a terrible thing. Uh, we should you know, as a country come together and, uh, you know, support those who are in need and uh, who need us to be there to um, help them through this difficult time. And uh, never consider this the normal. This isn't normal. Yes. Um, definitely there needs to be some kind of dialogue, but that's a topic for a different subject. But, you know, we hope that those who are affected uh, by this tragic event that, uh, you know, you can seek solace and know that we uh, are, are behind you 100%. All right, so on that note, let's get started. So today's topic, we are going to talk about one of the things that keeps coming up in, you know, in the game industry, is particularly when it comes to the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. And that is the concept of begging for ports. For games in general, like, oh, we're doing it for this system, this system, and this system. Oh, but if you want it on the Switch, let us know. Right? It's like, you know, I the thing is, I think games should be ported all over. I say spread the love, man. Just, you know, let people play your game wherever, man. Just, you know, if you can do it and, you know, do it and let people play your game. Because the more people who can play on more platforms, the better, right? So that, you know, that's my personal opinion about the whole thing. But this idea that, oh, if you want more games, then, you know, if you want this game, then then speak up and, you know, we're going to give you, you know, this, know, this game. But, uh, you know, the thing about it is so far, I don't think that's ever amounted to anything. Like, I remember, like, <laughs> a few weeks ago, it was, you know, or was it a month ago, it was the the thing about uh, Drag Namco with uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and you know they were like, "Yeah, okay, guys, if you really want to see this game, then let us know." And there was a huge campaign like on Twitter, Facebook, and all kinds of stuff. Like, "Yeah, bring this game out!" And so their response was basically, "Well, yeah, that's cool. Buy Xenoverse 2. <laughs> Which is like, okay. <laughs> that for <laughs> you know this kind of thing is silly and you know the first time i could see people going yeah you we want to play that game and you know let's just be honest dragon ball fighter z looks awesome i'm not a big dragon ball z fan well as far as their games go but uh you know that game looks awesome and it's it, something yeah. i would actually play yeah but uh you know people really want to play that game on the ns and uh you know Instead of them coming out and saying, well, we're just not going to do it right now. So, you know, we'll reevaluate this after the game. Instead, they're like, yeah, tell, let us know. And so people went and did this huge, huge campaign. <laughs> now, the thing that bothers me about this is that, you know, people want more games on their system. And, and, and when I say this, I'm not I'm singling out the Nintendo Switch, but I mean this in general. I, I really don't care. Like, 
what system you own, whether you own Xbox One, whether you own PC, whether you own PS4, Nintendo Switch, Wii U, it doesn't really matter as far as I'm concerned. My feeling about it is still the same. And that is, if if they want to port their game, just port the game. Don't, 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 don't try to, you know, try to you know, do something, you know, where, yeah, yeah, let us know. And, you know, the thing is, ultimately, you're not going to get anything. And what it does is it leads to people just being disappointed, right? Well, <laughs> yeah. FYI, I'm never doing that. So if you're going to try to pull that as some kind of ploy, I'm not doing that. I don't think anyone should have to. I don't know why you don't like making money. But I'm not going to that point. And I don't think you should. I mean, I'm probably sure that some of this is for advertising purposes. Oh, spread the... I'm not doing that. I'm not doing your free advertising. I'm not doing any begging. I'm not doing that. You either bring it or you don't. Exactly. That's my feeling. You know, if you want people to play your game, then, you know, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll put it out there for, for folks to, to buy, right? But if you don't want to do that, then great. So, so far... And again, I'm singling out Namco, but really this is true for a lot of developers. You see it all the time on Twitter. They're like, yeah, you want a, our game? Well, if fans really want it, then we'll do it. All right, okay, so, um, you know, if I ever thought that this amounted to anything, really, then, yeah, I could see people doing that. And maybe sometimes it does, because I'm not saying that that's, not, that's always the case. However, it's not quite that simple. So even if you get huge fan outcry, like for example, let's take for example, Persona 5. There are lots and lots and lots of people who want to play Persona 5 on the NS. But is Atlas, are they bringing out that game? No. <laughs> I mean, <dude. laughs> It's just a big ploy to get people to feel like they're involved. I'm not buying it. Yeah, I'm exactly. I'm just not buying it. If you want to make money off me, put it on the system that you're making people beg for games. I don't know when video games became, please beg for our game so we can bring it over. That's not how this works. Mm -hmm. Exactly, I totally agree with that. And so, you know, the thing is we've got, you know, Namco first it was Dragon Ball Fighter, is it Fighter Z or is it Fighters? I don't know, is it Fighter Z or Fighters? I don't know, whatever it is. Um, you know, first it was that, then it was what was what was the other game? It's uh, a, it's an awful. Let's just say it's an awful precedence. Oh yeah, no, it's it's terrible. But the most recent one, which made me think about this in general, is you know they they were talking about um, Project Cars too. Now you know I don't want to get into the long history of Project Cars and Nintendo because you know that whole thing with the Wii U, I, I personally think was just all kinds of wrong. But, you know, they already said, like, earlier this year, oh, no, it's not coming out. Like, you know, it's, they just don't want to deal with it, right? So they already said this, right? So on Namco, not, so Namco's, one of their community managers comes out and says, yeah, you know, well, if people want this game, you know, would like to have this game on their system, then, you know, hey, let us know, right? The fans, if the fans want it, then we'll do it. It's like, okay, well, the guy who, who who's working on that game already said he really didn't want to do it um and so now now you're talking about getting the fans you know to get involved to try to get that game but you know what personally i wonder you know how effective that would be anyway considering the whole situation with the wii u and then ultimately how that went down with project cars the original and then of course project cars 2 like what he said earlier about bringing it over to the ns in the first place so you know it's like okay dude you know maybe he doesn't want to do it and now you're telling us yeah rally get you know get behind this game and let's go but you know really is it is it worth it i mean as a fan of games do you i mean does it really make you feel good and make you feel like you're empowered in, in order to beg for a company for ports of games. I mean, no, no, no offense to Xbox One owners, right? I mean, they don't have to beg for games, right? I mean, they just get games, right? It's, they're just an Xbox One version of the game. They don't have to beg, right? PlayStation doesn't have to. Yeah, beg. but I mean, I understand PlayStation. They're number one in the market. That makes That's sense. True. They're the market leader. Market leader is going to get the games. I got that. But we're talking about an Xbox One. Yes, yeah, sure. They're what? Over 30 million of them in, in the world, right? 
But at the same time, they don't necessarily have to beg in order to get games, right? That's true. But Nintendo guys have to beg generally to get games. And it's not it's not like companies just go, okay, here, we're just going to bring out this game and here you go. You can play, right? Usually it's always, well, you know, if fans really want it, then we'll do it. But, you know, why should they have to beg? You know, nobody else has to beg. So why don't we just... Why don't you, you know, companies just go ahead and just give them the game? And it didn't used to be that way. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like it's a marketing ploy. I really do. I feel like people start talking about it and people start getting interested on Twitter and Facebook and stuff. And then they maybe sell some games from that. But I, I'm not your your advertisement person. I'm not doing that. And maybe I want your game, but if it's not on my system of choice, I'm just not going to participate. And I don't think anyone should have to go and beg for whatever game it is to be on their system. You either do it or you don't. Yep, exactly. And, you know, the thing that I find really funny, especially with Namco, is, you know, people wanted Code Vein, right? That when they first announced, they announced it with, like, no platforms. They're like, oh, this game's coming out, right? And so then it was all this discussion about well, what platform is going to be. And, of course, people who own a Nintendo Switch were like, yeah, maybe we're going to get this game because we don't have... You know, Dark Souls and stuff, you know, none of that. So we're going to have this game. And, of course, they were being all coy, like, yeah, well, we're mm -hmm. not really announcing platforms. Even though I think it was PlayStation Ding Dingeki that actually did, you know, had a little thing. So automatically, you know, it's coming out on a PS4. All right, so you know that, right? But instead of them coming out at that point saying, okay, well, you know, this is the thing. It was the same stuff that always ends. So basically, they, I felt like they... We're trying to milk the fact that Nintendo Switch guys wanted that game. They knew they wanted that game. And then pulled out the rug from under them and said, oh, No way, man. It's the usual suspects. P <laughs> PC, PS4, Xbox One. They're getting the game. You, Nintendo Switch guys, sorry. <laughs> and, and while that's another topic entirely, I feel like they're doing this mystery stuff in the beginning to get people hyped. And then doing the obvious thing, announcing the obvious system, so. Yep. Yeah. That's some kind of surprise. It wasn't a surprise, guys. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. And so that's one of those things that I feel like as players, we just shouldn't, you just shouldn't get involved. If the company comes out and says, okay, if everybody wants this game, then you need to you know, let us know when, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. Then I think what you should do is. Just say no, don't, right? Don't participate. <laughs> yeah, just say no. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that people want more games to play. I got that. So do I. But we shouldn't have to jump through those kind of hoops in order to get games. We're all gamers. Exactly. Why can't we just get the games without looking pathetic? And exactly. Pathetic? Exactly. I mean, they know that they're going to exploit us as gamers by saying, oh, yeah, you know. We know you want to play that game on that system. So, yeah, here if you really want it, then just let us know. But that's actually good PR for them because, you know, people are, you know, liking and retweeting and, um, you know, sharing on Facebook and all that stuff. So, you know, you, you've got this kind of advertising campaign for the game that they didn't have to do anything about, man. They didn't have to do anything with. No one got paid for that. And, you know, it's just... Shady. And, and even then, there's no guarantee that the people, that the players are going to get that game even in the first place. So even if you went through all that work and you retweeted, let's say they got 100,000, 200,000 retweets, and in the end, they're like, well, maybe we'll think about it. I, I feel like it's all going to end in, no, nah, we're not doing it for whatever system we're having you beg on. Yeah, exactly. And I think that as fans, you know, as, as players and fans, we should just, next time they say something like that, you should just say, either you do it or you don't. Don't fall for the trap. Just go ahead. You know, maybe you want to play that game on the system. And that's great. That's cool. But I think it's better not to get caught up in that. It leads to disappointment because... Uh, people were really disappointed that ultimately they came out and said, yeah, buy Zeno first two. And they're like, wait, 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 I don't even want to play that game, man. I really want to play this one. So, yeah. you know, it's like those 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 games, yeah, they're Dragon Ball, but they're kind of unrelated. Like one is your, your normal 2D side, you know, beat em up. And the other one's like your 3D open world kind of beat em up thing, right? Yeah, they're both fighting games, but they're, 
you know, fundamentally like two different kinds of games, right? And so maybe one appeals to you, but the other one doesn't. So you're more likely to buy this one, but not that one. So I think that that's something that they just really, 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 you know, end up screwing people in the end. I have no interest in Xenoverse 2. However, I would buy Fighter, Fighter Z or Fighters. Yeah, I would buy that because that game looks awesome. <laughs> That's something that I would play. So, you know, so ultimately I feel like players kind of get the shaft on that. And yeah, I singled out Namco, but I don't mean to use them as they're the only person. They're just the easiest one right now to really talk about because it's still fresh and we are looking at this thing now. And I think that as players, we just need to say, no more. We're don't, just not going to deal with it. And don't, don't fall for that trap. Don't work for free. Exactly. That's what you're doing. Exactly. So how do you feel about this? Do you think that it's a good idea to be part of this campaign? Do you feel like it's not a good idea to, to, to be part of this type of campaign? Um, do you think the company should do it? Or do you think they should do it? Let us know in the comment sections below. And uh, maybe we'll come through and uh, answer some of those questions or read some of the questions on our next uh, newscast so yeah yep so that's this episode our first ever episode of you know our hyro cast discussion and um, if you have any questions or comments or anything uh, please feel free to leave a comment below we'll try to read everything uh, and um, yeah we hope to see you guys next time so remember to like like this video if you like what we're talking about you like what we're doing and uh, give us a follow. Um, that way you can stay up to date with what we're doing in the future and when new videos come out. We'll see you guys later. All right. You have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>